I know I'm a day late, but we're back at Epic Games World for a free to keep game this week. This week, we have Dakar Desert Rally. It's free now to February 22nd of 2024. And next week, we have Fallout 2, Tactics, and Fallout 1. All free to keep next week from February 22nd to February 29th of 2024. So, lease subscription wants those games for itself. So, check out Dakar Desert Rally. This game is usually 30 bucks, but it's currently free to keep. So, Dakar Desert Rally is the biggest off road rally racing adventure ever developed. Experience of speed and the excitement of the largest rally race on the planet, featuring a wide variety of licensed vehicles from motorcycles, cars, trucks, quads, and SSVs. It's a racing simulation multiplayer single player game. So, basically, it's a rally racing game. You get to have different vehicles, different race tracks. Different views to be had, you get sponsors, it's probably a career builder, probably cool. And you just race, you can race against friends, with a motorcycle, a do buggy, customize a motorcycle maybe, that'd be cool if you could. But you probably can do like the suspension and stuff like that, and like how hard your brakes and such. Now onto the well known games, I'm gonna start with Fallout 1. This game is usually 10 bucks, but next week's will be free to keep. I think they give this away like three or four times now on Epic Games. So, if you just unearth the classic post a popular role playing game that revitalized the entire CRPG job. Make the right decisions, or you could end up as another fallen hero in the wasteland. Open world RPG classes in single player. And that's the graphics. You know, it still holds up pretty well. Either you can look up some of the eyes, you can beat the game like instantly. There's pretty cool stuff you do that you don't realize actually. Now onto the second game of Fallout. That's gonna be also 10 bucks, but next week's gonna be free creep. So Fallout 2 is the cool to the Krugia Kane game that took RPG out of the dungeons and into a dynamic, a popular retro future. Yeah, because it used to be dungeon crawlers were like the big thing back then. So mastering your character's skills and traits for survival, Fallout 2 changes you to endure a post pocket nuclear world, open world, RPG, policies, and single player. We're getting to a point that go in the near future. It's like, well, that's um, nowadays, and nothing's like it. <laughs> Again, I do like the graphics. There is a dungeon to be had. There is still dungeon hearing. No. Yeah, I do like it. Like, it was kind of cool, like, the, when you barter, you had to type in stuff instead of, like, having choices. I don't know. It's, it was ahead of its time, in my opinion. And last but not least, some people may not like Fallout Tactics, but I don't think it's that bad. It's what you get for free. This game is also usually 10 bucks and one place can be free to keep, so tackle squad based combat comes to the Fallout universe. In these dark times, the Brotherhood, your Brotherhood, is all that stands between the Rick Hill Flame of Civilization and the Howling Radiant Wasteland. I don't remember if this is like between Fallout 1 and Fallout 2, I think. I don't know, it's been so long since I played. So basically, you can create your own squad, you get equipment, go on missions for the Brotherhood, and see what happens. Look at that. You get like a far side. I know he's a like pre made one, but you can make your own. Get your own different weapons, you get the experience, you create a quest, there you have it. So, like I said, Dark Part does it wrong, it's free to keep for now, so the description want it this week. But next week, we're gonna fall out 1, 2, and Tactics. So, if you want to save yourself, check the description or the link and comment down in the comments section, play on my channel. So, like always, thanks for watching. Have a great day, comment below, and bye.